What is going on guys? What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video today, I'm going to be reacting to Meshuggah Clockworks. Meshuggah are a band that I started off with, I'd say on the wrong foot. I initially started with Bleed and then I did the Thomas Hake drum cam of Bleed and then I did uh, Demiurge. And to be honest, today I went back and listened to Bleed and if anything, Meshuggah have been the first band that have really made me appreciate the bass pedal when it comes to drumming. Now, I've had other bands where I've paid really close attention to the drummers. So for example, Danny Carey from Tool, I really delved into a lot of his like kind of solo stuff or even just the drum cams that he's done. But after doing my reaction to Bleed initially, I didn't really cop how fast his foot was moving. So I went on to do the drum cam and I obviously paid a little more attention then, but you guys just kept telling me to like, it's yeah, his hands are like working pretty hard, but it's really his foot that's driving the whole song. So ever since I watched that video, now I can't help but any like drum cam video that I've watched in my own time or any track that I've previously listened to, I always go back and now I can like hear the drum pedal like very clearly and you can hear the kind of effect that it's having on the song and the drive that it gives the song, so. But yeah, today we're gonna to be doing Clockworks. We have an official music video. I might avoid doing the official music video because copyright, so I'll see if I can get a lyric video or something, or we might just go for it. I haven't really decided yet. But after that, we have Thomas Hake's drum cam footage of that as well, so I'm sure we can do that one as well. If you guys wanna see it, do let me know by dropping a like in this video. All right, three, two, one.
just kept going. I find it so hard to commit to a headbang with Meshuggah as much as like I can hear certain elements of the track that I know in future I will probably really groove to. I just can't commit to the headbang on the first listen because they literally change the groove pattern every few seconds just as you're kind of getting into a groove pattern. They kind of switch it off. I know in Demiurge, <clears throat> if you go back and watch that reaction, I kind of perked up a little bit when they dropped in one particular guitar riff. It was a groovier guitar riff as opposed to just a really intense, like, fucking banging that they usually go through. But there was one particular guitar riff in there that I feel like this had a good blend between Bleed and Demiurge. I really like the groovier elements of this, but it also had that, like, really fucking degent that you guys say, the DJ, ENT, you know, the that people kind of use as a meme. That is perfectly describing that sound, that gen, gen, gen. But yeah, like I said, I just feel like this will be one of them tracks that I'll probably like a bit more when I listen to it a few more times. It's probably similar to Bleed. I think these guys are like, they're not exactly in the, um, like they're not exactly a gateway band into metal. So, I mean, I'm not exactly there yet to be just picking up on these guys straight away. There is small elements that I do like, but to go all out on my first listen and say like, yeah, this is like, for me, it's, that would be a lie. It's just a lot for me to take in. You can just, I don't even know how to like, I, just, I, I can't even pause the video during it. I just let the whole thing play because I can't get enough time to collect my thoughts midway through the video. So I just figured like, why not just let it play out and then just kind of take it in as a whole because projects like that change so much that at any one particular time you could get a guitar groove that you really like, but it's just a lot. I just did a quick kind of read over, scan over some of the lyrics and some people's interpretations of what the lyrics are about. And similar to Bleed, the track obviously being about someone having an aneurysm or essentially what it feels like to have an aneurysm. This track again deals with kind of mental health by the looks of things. Like I've read over some of the lyrics and get it myself. Clockworks is kind of referring to how normal life or the life that people live, in this case the narrator who's actually referring to is, is speaking about himself. He's basically saying, dissembling the machinery, so again, it ties back into the name of Clockworks. He's breaking himself down to kind of almost get rid of this clockwork, all this bullshit that he's been going through. That's kind of what the idea is behind it from what I can see. Like referring to himself as a lie, what once I was, obsolete instrument, an outmoded contraption, a malfunctioning device. So, probably interpreted in a few different ways. I think from a musical standpoint, I'd have to listen to that a few more times to get into it. And that's something that I've just become a lot more accustomed to with these tracks and going a bit into the like death metal, heavy, really heavier metal side of things is that I just have to accept that a lot of time I'm not going to enjoy these tracks on a first time basis. But then again, some of my favourite tracks have been tracks that I didn't really like love or fall in love with on a first time listen. So yeah guys, that is going to be me for the video. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. If you could, let me know in the comment section down below which Meshuga tracks you would like to see. I've changed my setup slightly, so I've bought a new laptop and I'm trying to get a microphone and everything working. So if there's not as many videos coming out over the next few days, just please bear, please bear with me. But please do fill the comment section with requests and then once we're up and running, as normal, I will get to them as soon as possible. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like in the video. I'm signing out. Take care of yourselves. Cheers. <laughs>